Diagrammatic art is one of the main subjects for Himalayan and Tibetan painting. Within uh, diagrammatic art, you have different types. You have uh, didactic, you have uh, charts. Then with charts, you have many different kinds. You have astrological, um, different kinds, body mandalas uh, and others. But when it comes to, to um, astrological charts and astrological art, there's only a few different types and, and it, the whole topic really has to be looked at in terms of um, what are the important subjects. So with with astrology you really have to look at origins and uh, regions and with that with uh, Himalayan art we're looking at the regions of India and China and we're looking at two different forms of astrology that come together and, and basically kind of merge in in the uh, mid uh, 20th, uh, first millennia, uh, uh, second millennium, they, they really merge around the the 16th, 17th century and come to a real culmination of uh, conflation uh, with Desi Sangji Jatso and his publication, The uh, White Barrel, and also his uh, history, history of Tibetan medicine where he tries to really consolidate everything into a, a, a neat package. Uh, so then we have really art chronology. What art do we have and how do we date it and what does this tell us? Uh, then we have workbooks and templates, but that also goes back to Desi Sanji Jatso and the White Barrel uh, publication. And then we have the most common kind of astrological painting that we see is really the Sipaho chart. But it's not easy to, um, to come to terms with all of these different um, topics and subjects. So really uh, what I want to talk about is a publication. The publication is called Tibetan Astrology, and it was um, originally done by, by Philip Cornu, and he's French. The book was done in, in, French, in the French language, and it was translated uh, from the French to English by Hamish Greger. Uh, now, the publication was done by Shambhala, and I believe it was 1997. This book, I think, is really the very best that's available at this time. There are other publications, but the other publications are often out of Dharamsala, or they're out of um, uh, New Delhi, or they might even be out of, out of uh, Lhasa, but they're more workbooks for how to do astrology, how to do charts. They're not helpful necessarily with iconography, with uh, visual depictions, with making paintings. They're, they're not helpful with uh, um, uh, organizing a chronology of, of known astrological uh, paintings and artworks. Um, but this book, Tibetan Astrology by Philippe Cornu, is really, really strong with explaining all of these topics. I can think of no other book that's available that, that even compares uh, with this publication. If you're interested at all in Tibetan or Buddhist um, Central Asian Tibetan astrology, then, then this is an absolutely essential book. You cannot progress without this book unless you're only working in Chinese or, or, or Tibetan or another language. But in English, you have to be looking at uh, Philippe Cornu's book. So press the like button. You can subscribe. You can join Har on Patreon. And very importantly, you can make a donation on the homepage of Himalayan Art Resources.